Hey everyone, it's Jessica from Pretty Prints and Paper, and I am going to be talking about finding my planner piece during this pandemic. I know that for many of us, this whole multi-layered global <laughs> crisis has really thrown us all for a loop. And for me, I've had you know similar planner systems for so many years, and then suddenly everything happened, everything became uncertain, and it kind of forced us all probably to revisit the drawing board and see what systems we actually need for our lives that we have right now. I'm really grateful that I get to work from home and that has been undisturbed it, for the most part, even though it looks really different and I don't have to you know, manage children at home. I know that that's a very different situation that some of you are in, but it really has forced me to look at what I need in a planner system and create it for myself. And we have to revisit all the things that we thought worked and think about what is really important to us and start over again. So I'm going to show you the different planners that I'm using in this time and how I got to that conclusion. Besides a little bit of FOMO because everybody is <laughs> experimenting with a lot of different planners right now. So for the main big picture, I am using a Moxie Life Planner, and this is in the vertical. Normally it is a, a coil bound or a ring bound, but then I kind of took it apart because it is pretty thick already for a six month, and I didn't want to carry around all 12 months of the planner. And so I just kind of took it apart, I cut the pages, and fit it with some tool discs. So the discs are from staples from their arc tool brand and i just fit everything that i wanted in this uh disc so this is 1.5 inches and i really like this planner because it's a goal setting planner i have not always been a very big goal setting person but i find myself really needing to anchor in something and everything right now feels so drifting for me that i needed to really sit down with something and and get clear on what it is that I want in this time and just start to drive that ship. So I really liked the goal setting pieces and I'll talk more about that in a different video. But I, I added these pieces and then kept the the weeks. So I've been getting into using just sticker kits because I think they're just fun and I, I don't need them. I'm obviously able to like draw things. You've seen my other videos, but I really do like the, the stickers sometimes and the ease of coordinating that. So I love how each month there's a way to break down your goals from your annual goals. And I really love these bookmarks. So it's kind of like the planner cards that you may be seeing where you put the page flags on them. They are a really hard plastic. So you can absolutely put those page flags on these and move the, the bookmarks around each week. I like to keep mine on the weekly actions, so I keep pulling open like, oh right, this is what I had set myself out to do this week. So this is where I keep my weekly overview. It's in vertical because that's how I think of time. And I'm tracking some of the things in here. It, I'm experimenting as I go, but right now I'm kind of seeing how my day is laid out, some priorities during the day, keeping track of the weather. We're using these really cute uh, kawaii weather stickers from Raspberry Designs, looking at some of my meal planning for the week. I'm trying to get a sense of what it is that I think is a big picture thing that I want to conceptualize before the week starts. And it has the habits here that are based on my weekly habits that I just had on the other page. And I'm in the process of setting up my next one, playing around again with what makes sense for me. I um, think I'm going to do the schedule up here and then the priority to do is down here and then keep the meal planning piece, habits, major like weekly lists. So I'll play around with that. But that is what is in this binder. From the overall weekly, I'm going to zoom in and do more of the daily lists in my Archer and Olive bullet journal. And in here, I did used to do a lot of the weekly overviews in here, but then really wanting to stick with that goal setting in the Moxie Life, I have been moving my weekly overview there and then doing the daily lists here. Using that kind of bullet journal method where you just kind of put your thoughts on paper and this can be as big or as little as I need it to be. Of course, I'm still using a ton of sticky notes. I can't live without them. And here I'm just using some leftover stickers on a kit and focusing on a couple of the top tasks. And this is where I can get really specific about what I'm working on that day or jotting some thoughts down. And then 
going from there. And I just love the simplicity of this. It just looks so easy. So that is my Archer and Olive. I'm trying to keep track of an inbox of things with these tabs. And then in this time, I also figured out that I needed to get my shit together in two kind of different ways. And I also had some of these rings and cloth and paper orders in. So what better way to focus on two different things than have two different planners? So right now, this is my like overview of my life, like big, big picture visioning and finances. So one of the things I've been playing around with is like, do I actually want to own a home? This is a really hard question for me. And I know many of you have probably struggled with the same thing. So that very related to, you know, a big picture of my life finances. So that is going in this disc notebook. And I've got a bunch of stuff in here from cloth and paper. Uh, I've got this hexagon paper clip from Goldmine and Coco. But what I'm doing here is I have these month tabs and I'm going to be tracking like my payments and like the overall trends of my spending. I do use an app called You Need a Budget, but I wanted to kind of commit these things on paper because it just registers in my brain a little bit differently. And being able to see the things laid out, I can make notes as to what are my major trends that I'm seeing, uh, taping coupons to the appropriate month so that I can remember to use them. And I think being able to add a couple pieces of blank note paper, these are dot grids from I think cloth and paper, and just being able to write down like major things that I'm noticing in that month. And so all of these are just those overall monthlies. And I just printed these off from the internet. So that's what I love about the half letter size is that everything can kind of be easily cut down from the internet. And then of course I've got some inserts in here related to wish list items, the beautiful laundry guide from the sub box. And this last tab here, well I've got my alcohol ink on here which I love and I'm going to be doing some more on um, other dividers later. But I wanted to just at least be taking notes and educating myself on what it takes to even have the option of owning a home. And so I'm taking a bunch of notes, watching videos and doing my research and taking some notes back here. Clever Girl Finance has a free everything you need to know about buying a home class that I'm going to be taking. So I'll be putting those notes in here. Um, and then the five year plan from cloth and paper. This is going to be what anchors me to a lot of the different goals that I might be having or the at least what I want my life to look like overall and then how my finances can support that. So that is that one. And the other thing that I was noticing, I got sick at the end of June and I was laid out. And I was talking to my doctor and we just happened to be getting on this topic of being tired. And I really have a hard time remembering the last time that I felt rested, the last time that I woke up having energy. And so she suggested going paleo and really reducing my sugar. What she had said was because of all the uncertainty, all the unrest, the uprisings and things with COVID changing everyone's life, the stress rises and so does our cortisol levels which increases our cravings for sugar, which increases inflammation in your body, which for me came out to having cysts. And I really wanted to get a handle on that. I really want to live a life where I wake up with energy. So it made me realize that I needed to kind of take charge of my health and get back to being intentional about what I'm doing with my body. This is another cloth and paper half letter. And I've got some of the goodies from the past sub boxes in here, the highly coveted today dashboard. And in here, I wanted to anchor a lot of my hopes, like I said, with energy and having strength. I don't like having specific like workout goals, but I just like being able to feel strong. So this front section is going to be, you know, note taking and having the focus on what is the paleo diet and what I want to do there. And what I'm doing each day is I printed out the PDFs of the Passion Planner Daily, and those are free if you go on their website. They wanted to make the planning system available for anybody, no matter what their income was, which I think is an amazing cause. So each day, I kind of covered up with washi tape what the actual headers are, but I wanted to 
just understand what my body was feeling throughout the day, what my meals were, what I was putting into my body. I was making a lot of mug cakes. So I just wanted to, you know, encourage myself to drink more water. I'm also tracking like what my energy and my symptoms were because I was sick. And then, you know, movement, walking, and in this space, I'm tracking a little bit of where my headspace is at. So some days I feel anxious and why was that? I'm just seeing what that looks like throughout the day. So that's been really, really helpful, and I hope to continue that. And then in the back, I'm going to be writing down some workouts and circuits and easy exercises that I can do, easy YouTube channels that I'm going to pull together as a playlist, because I want that to be easy. Uh, I want that to be as simple as possible, and uh, along with maybe some food ideas and stuff like that. So these are the four planners that I'm using, and I am actually anticipating setting up another one when my stuff from cloth and paper comes so that I can do a little bit more content planning and get more consistent again with my social media and YouTube and blog and stuff. So I'm sure I'll show you another setup video when that comes in. But for now, because I don't have to drag these everywhere, I'm working from home, I am okay with having multiple planners. And maybe they'll, you know, condense down again someday. But for now, this is working. It's it's giving me focus in each area and bringing intention to each group. So I'm enjoying that. And I'm sure it'll evolve the next time I see you. If you like this, feel free to give it a thumbs up, share it, subscribe. Other than that, I just hope that you enjoy it. I'll talk to you later. Bye.